Hello and welcome to this Amcrest tutorial showing you how to set up your Pro HD to save its recordings and snapshots to an FTP server. Today we'll cover the easiest way to set up FTP for local recordings using FileZilla. Before we begin, we want to make sure that we will be able to view the recorded files that will be saved to our computer from our Pro HD's FTP setup. In order to do that, we will need the Amcrest Smart Play software. Search Amcrest Smart Play in Google. Then click the second link. We'll be downloading Smart Play for Windows. It will save to your downloads folder. I'll be saving it to my desktop. When it's finished, locate the download and run the installer by double clicking the setup icon. Start by clicking Next on the first window. Then check the I Agree checkbox on the next window. Then click Install. Finally, click Close as we won't be needing to use the software just yet. Now, Let's set up the FTP server. There are many for you to choose, but for this video, we'll be using FileZilla. It is open source software and completely free to use. Start by searching FileZilla in Google. Click the first link. Then, click Download FileZilla Server. Next, click Download Now. It will save to your Downloads folder. Once finished, locate the download and run the installer by double clicking the setup icon. On this first window, click I Agree. Then go through the prompts. When it's finished, click Close. On this window, you can leave everything as it is by default. Localhost simply represents the computer you are currently using and we will leave that there because we will be saving all your footage to this computer. The default port of 14147 should also be left as is. Click Connect. The first step here is to create a user account. Click Edit on the top row, then Users. Here, on the right, Click the Add button to add a user. Let's name it. This can be anything you want. Now that our user has been created, let's set a password. Check the box next to Password. And enter your password. Next, we will need to point to a folder that the FTP connection will use to send all your footage. Click Shared Folders in the left navigation panel. Then, I'll create a folder on the desktop called FTP. To add the FTP folder we've just created, click Add in the center section. It will open the Browse for Folder window. From here, we can select the folder FTP and click OK. Now, we want to set our permissions. From the column of checkboxes, select all of them. Then click OK in the bottom left. Before we link the FTP information to our Pro HD camera, we will want to disable the Windows firewall. If we don't disable the firewall, Windows will block this FTP connection from happening. Click the Start button, then Control Panel. Go to System and Security, then Windows Firewall. On the left navigation panel, click Change Notification Settings. Here, select both radio buttons to turn off Windows Firewall. Then, click OK on the bottom. You can close out of the control panel when you're done. Now, let's connect to our Pro HD. I'll enter the IP address for my camera, then log in. Once you're in, click Setup in the top right. Then, click Storage from the left navigation panel, and Destination. On this screen, under the Record and Snapshot sections, we want to select FTP. By default, it will be set to SD card. Once your screen looks like this, click Save down below. Next, let's jump over to the FTP tab up top. Here is where we will need to enter our computer's IP address. This is, once again, because we will be saving our recordings and snapshots locally to this computer. To find your computer's IP address, click Start, then type CMD, and hit Enter. Now, type IP config without spaces and hit Enter. Here, my computer's IP address is shown next to IPv4 address, 192.168.1.79. Write this down to remember it. You can close out of the command prompt now. And, let's enter that IP address into the server address field here. Next. Let's set the port. By default, FTP uses port 21. For the username and password, enter the same credentials we created in FileZilla. These are not the same credentials you use to log into your camera. This bottom checkbox, Emergency Store on SD Card, should be checked if you want your camera to still save any recordings to your SD card if, for some reason, the FTP connection is broken or not working. This is usually a good idea. When finished, click Save. Now, if we open our FTP folder, we can see that a folder has been created for our Pro HD. 
If we go into it, we'll see that nothing is there. This is because no motion has been detected yet. So, let's trigger a motion event. We can see that a new folder just appeared with today's date. Let's take a look. My motion detection setup is configured to produce both video recordings and snapshots. Let's look at the snapshots in the JPG folder. Next, let's go back and take a look at our recording. The recording will open with the Amcrest Smart Play software. And here you can see our motion event. Keep in mind that when saving recordings to FTP locally, as we have shown how to do in this video, you will need to keep the computer or server running 24 7. If the computer is shut down, nothing will save to your FTP folder. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this one from Amcrest Technologies.